Mike. We're here with Michael Riggs. Round one TKO strikes. You beat uh, Cody Udi out of uh, Jeremy Horn's camp. Uh, how's that feel, man? Uh, it feels pretty good. Uh, anytime I get in there and I get the opportunity to earn the right to get that microphone so I can witness to everybody about the Lord Jesus, I'm, I'm excited about it and I'm grateful for it. Let's talk about that, your team prophecy. What's the motivation behind that? Uh, just what I do when they hand me that mic. I, uh, you know, the Bible says in, in Mark chapter 16 to go out into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Uh, and there's a whole stadium full of, of people sitting here focused on that one little cage at every event. I like to fight. I like the sport of it. Um, so I figured there's a good opportunity for me to witness to everybody, and I don't expect everybody to listen to what I have to say unless I've earned that right to talk to them. And I feel like getting in the cage, defeating my opponent, earning the right to get that microphone, you know, people are a little bit more receptive to sit for you know, 30 seconds or so while I, I do what the Bible says and preach the gospel. So are you, so, bro are you Brother Mike? I, I am the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Centennial, Colorado. Are you the pastor Mike? <laughs> um, so. All right, quick question. Like, I'm a Christian too, and people ask me all the time about can Christians fight? Absolutely, yeah. The uh, the very first submission wrestling match ever is in Genesis chapter 32. God tapped out Jacob with a leg lock. That's in the Bible. Look it up. Uh, people have a bad image of the Lord Jesus Christ. They think of him as a pacifist or uh, as a weak God. But the truth of the scripture is when the, the money changers were, were selling and taxing people in the temple of God, Jesus Christ took a whip, threw tables over, and beat them until they and chased them out of the temple. This, Jesus is a God of power, justice, and wrath when you're wrong. So this image of him being soft is, is way off. It's not anywhere in the Bible. Uh, so that's what I like to do. I get out there and show people that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, the true Jesus Christ, the true God of the Bible, uh, is powerful and strong. And those that follow him, the Bible says in Romans 8.31, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? That's right. So, you're the pastor of what church? Bible Baptist in Centennial, Colorado. It's on the website, 90and9.net, 90and9.net. All right. Pastor Mike, appreciate it, man. Congrats. Absolutely. And we'll see you uh, in the future here. Absolutely. Thank you. Get Doc out there now. I'm going to have a concussion. You got a bad one on All right. First off, where's your shirt at? It's crinkled up in that bag over there. We got yeah, it. We got to keep it PG-13. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got the, the, the belt. Yeah, yeah just, just, put the belt. The belt. just put the belt there. Just put the belt there. You go. All right. We're here with Prentice Ingram. Uh, big win tonight over Joe Kelso. Uh, you took him to the ground. <laughs> I got a medal, G. All right, before the fight, it, it kind of said if it's going to stand up, it's going to stand up, it's going to go Prentice's way, if it goes to the ground, it's going to go Kelso's way. That's what I heard, it, right? went to, it went to the ground. And it went my it went way. way. Wow. So what, what happened? I think that he was strong as an ox. Once again, I'm going to use that word. He took me to the ground, man, and it felt like the Matrix, but you know what? I, I made my way through it, and I wanted to keep it standing. Every time I wanted to throw a strike, I saw him dropping a level before I even got it off, so I got to get less telegraphs on my strikes and be sure to get straight strikes in there, man. I should use more hands, the kicks just fell me this time. Air kicks are kind of crazy, you know, you had like the back kick, front kick, Yeah, kick, I don't even remember. So, have you been working on your ground game a lot? Yes, sir. Donnie Martinez from Team Havoc. Uh, that's the one that gives me my jiu-jitsu work. Johnny, uh, John Brody is my striking coach. Gave me that little nick here. Can't say that Kelso did, man. Hey, hey sir, uh, can I take a picture of you? Oh, yeah, sure, man. Can I put it on all these fans? Hey, take a picture. All right, did you say my girlfriend's boob? What's up, guys? You're going pro now. Yeah, I should be going pro, yes. That's the best new word out there. All right, we're going to see Prentice Ingram here soon on a pro, co pro card. And uh, congrats. I don't know this guy. Who's Dr. Next Alex. Him? Awesome word. Cameraman. Awesome word. <laughs> Fight's over, going to the locker rooms. We're having interviews oh, right here. You guys going to the, uh... Uh, we're going to be at the after party at the uh, Marriott downtown Denver. We'll be there tonight. Hope to what see room? You there. Uh, we're going to be in room uh, uh, 12 with 22nd floor. We want you to be there. You guys got the honeymoon suite? Is that what you're saying? Um, yeah, well, we're in there with uh, yeah a lot of honeys. But oh, uh, yeah, so. It's not just you two? <laughs> a lot of honeys. A lot of honeys will be there. Strange. Hey, what's up, lady? I'll see you guys later. Oh, no one needs to see that. No one needs to see that. Nice. All right. Drew the vanilla gorilla nap.
Man, that was hard to watch. Was it? Yeah. For me like, or for him? For or? me. I was like, oh, get out, get out. I don't remember. Not a thing, man. You kind of had you stretched out for a little bit. Your legs are kind of like, we're both just like, no. You flipped them over, hopped on top, ground and pound. Uh, what, let's talk about that, the, the first round to get kicked when you're on all fours. Yeah, that's what I was told. <laughs> that hurt? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it, man. Yeah, I, I, I swear to God, I don't remember it. Yeah, it was, I, that was my a head hurt right there. So it was definitely a hard kick. Uh, you came back in the second round, and you, you were just hammered on them. Actually, the end of the first round, you hammered on them. Uh, round ends, goes the second round. Um, you're beating them on top. He gets back on top of you. You flip them back over, kind of ground and pounded them out. Is that all you remember from that? Um, thank you. <laughs> if that's what's happened, man, that's cool. All I know is my hand was just raised, and I feel you just spent I feel them. good, man. No, I'm not spent, man. I'm, I just I feel so thankful for the, the people that are around me. So. So you want to know as a pro what's what's next for you? Enjoy uh, this. And well, I'm, I'm going to go to Visions Nightclub wherever that is, and uh, uh, I'm going to have a good time tonight, and then you know get back in training and go for the next one. I don't know. So, but I'm still here and I'm happy. All right, Drew Knapp, main event, one and pro. Congratulations. Cool. All right, this is Mike at MMABuzz.com. Um, Steel City Rumble 2 has ended. On a good note, Drew Knapp just won. Um, props to Cedar Ripley, good fight. And uh, you can see the place is empty, they're tearing down here. Hope you guys enjoyed kind of this different look at the fights. And uh, we will see you December 5th up in Denver at the uh, KOCMMA.com uh, King of Kings fight. So. Uh, thanks for coming along. Thanks to Dr. Alex, my cameraman, and everybody else who came on the video. And we'll see you soon.